All right, so let's take a look at how this Mad Libs program runs. So I've got a sample over here that's also linked off of the assignment page. <clears throat> you are welcome to use it as a reference. Note that it is not anywhere close to the full and amazing program that you will write and will review the requirements in a separate video. So I'm going to enter the name of a snack. I want some chips. Another thing, I'd like some tacos. It's only asking for two items. It prints the list. Here's what I picked. And then it runs a sentence and pulls in one of the items from the list. This is not a story. We know that, right? It's just a sample. And then it says, would you like a new story or start fresh with new words? So if I say I'd like a new story and I press one, it will redo the story with a randomly chosen word from the list. In this case, it got chips again. It got chips again. How many times? Okay, I felt like I had to prove it to you that it would eventually say tacos. All right, cool. So then if I want to start over, I will press two, press enter, and it starts the whole thing over again. And it has cleared out the previous items that were on the list. All right, so let's take a look over at the program itself. Starting off, we have three things at the top. Import time lets you put in a delay to slow the program down a little bit. Import random is super important because we need that in order to have it make a random choice from our list called snacks. And import OS is super useful because what it does is it allows you to use this line right here, which clears the screen when I tell it os.system clear. All right, let's roll through the rest. So snacks equals blank brackets. This sets up a blank list named snacks. And then I've got two functions set up. The first one is add words. You can name it whatever you want. It adds words to all of my lists and it's just gonna go one down through the other. For I in range two, is saying, hey, ask two different times for the person to enter the name of a snack. This is the super important line here, snacks.append user input. It takes whatever they enter. So when I type in kale, it adds it to the snacks list. And then it asks a second time. If I type in cookies, it adds it to the snacks list. After asking twice, it stops. These next two lines will print the item, or actually print the list, sorry. And it prints it nicely, right? It's not full of like commas and quotes and brackets. It looks good, we want you to look good. Okay, so that's the add words function. The print story function, well, it prints the story. So it will run through the whole story. After it has run through the story, the person is asked, do they want to press one for a new story or two to start over? If choice equals one, then it calls the function called print story. Bam, right there. If choice equals two, there's a little more magic. It clears the screen. It clears the list called snacks so that cookies and kale or whatever I typed in are no longer there. It's empty. Then it runs the function called add words. Once that is done, it runs the function called print story. And last but not least, my friends, lines 26 and 27 will run the AdWords function at the very beginning when the program starts. As soon as that's done, it rolls straight into print story. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy creating this Python program.